Well, this morning I'm going to go to Crozon to paint the waterfalls. Look at Adele there, it's absolutely superb for this little trout river. And then it'll be just right for doing these lovely little scenes coming down the cascading falls and the rivers and the rocks. There's always a delightful drive there. I haven't seen many puppies this year, but there's a nice line there. Well, I just had a bit of a scare. I had lots of water coming out from under the car and the exhaust fell off at the back there, partly. But popped into the local garage and needed to get to a new garage in Crozon. Lovely chap, and he screwed, uh, just bolted it back on again. And we decided that it was the air conditioning that was pouring out water at the bottom from condensation. So not expensive after all that, and useful to find a new garage. In the time I managed to get a nice pool and a, and a baguette. For We're myself. going to call in here now at the valley of the Sadel, the actual great little trout river, and we'll drive down a way so we can get right next to where I want to paint. I'm going to carry all the gear about. Lovely reflections down here again, but I want to do cascading waterfalls today, so that's what we're going to drive down to. It's ideally set up for those of us who can't walk so easily because you can drive all the way to where you want to go. And there are beautiful reflections down there already. So we'll stop here and take a look first of all. If you're coming here for an art holiday you can see just how easy the access can be for you. It's interesting to see these compositions change as we move the camera around. Well, I've decided to attempt to paint a 2030 canvas here. Um, lovely scene, but the lights going to change as it goes on. You see how the light affects across the water. I'm going to do a series of smaller ones, but it's about getting into a slightly larger one again today. So let's have a go at that. So the scene I'm going to do is going to encompass this lot here, and possibly come from those branches up there right down to the water here. We'll see what I take in. Finding new lovely places, just at the bottom of Crozon here where the 
Sidel comes into the main lake. And there's a lovely footpath. Look at that gorgeous old tree. Really old oak is coming across the bridge here. What a magical place. Well, I mean, I'd have to go to the waterfalls, I and mean, this is nice to paint here. Into the main larger one, <coughs> you can see. It does have one of the smaller ones on the film, and once they do a couple of smaller ones now, one this way and one that way of the bridge. And I'll show those first before I show you the, the major piece, the larger one, don't quite think of it. And um, we'll go back to the flat brushes sometime and stop the bits of bits of it. But uh, you know, at the moment, a couple of small pictures, and then we'll just finish it. And there's our scene. Let's zoom in and see if we can. Capture it. The light's changing now towards the evening, which is again gorgeous. And I hope I can show you enough on here. Now I want to come round here and I'll go up this beautiful bridge. It's a bit complicated because the tree comes in the way of it, but I'll give it a go anyway.
There we go then. Lovely afternoon. So, I can set myself up here. A nice blue canvas. I'm going to paint it hopefully. Sunshine will disappear off the canvas for you. We'll see what I'm doing now. So we've got a lovely view here. Let's see if we can do it justice. That pump painted again. Let me draw it out first with a yellow pencil. I'm going to try drawing with a yellow pencil first, but I'm going to go the water one just on my blue ground. I'm just able to pick up what I want to see here now. That should be enough for me to work on that. Before we start, I'll just show you where I'm perched here. Not ideal, and I'm going to have to stand there and hold my palette whilst I paint. But needs must if I'm going to paint such a beautiful place. Put my camera up there, and you'll see it from there. So what I want to do first is establish the darks, so I don't really know where I am. At the moment, I only just see my drawing, so I'm going to take some deep purple, fresh and blue, and a little bit of green. One of the things of having a, a ground, and I do really like it, the ground, but the blue ground can give me a lovely shadow.
down to a little quarter inch. Still waiting for some light to come back on this. It's really starting to try and pick up some of the sunlight now. And uh, catching these beautiful textures in the water and so on. It tends to look like um, polystyrene film if you're not careful. You've got to really try and get to the movement in the, in the brush strokes as well. And you've got to paint almost entirely with highlights now. Great, take a look. Thank mm -hmm. you.